I'm Barbara Jepson, president of the Music Critics Association of North America. We are pleased to announce the winner of the very first Encana Award for Best New Opera. And the winner is... Breaking the Waves by Missy Mazzoli and Royce Vavrick, which had its premiere at Opera Philadelphia. Of the operas that are the new operas that I saw this year, I would say that Breaking the Waves was the most original, um, the most harrowing, and the most moving. Um, all those three elements put together, the eloquence of the libretto and the vividness of the music and, um, created a truly original theatrical experience. This opera manages to build on the very unusual um, romantic relationship that's the subject of Lars von Trier's film and add music to it in a very effective and poignant way. There were dozens of, of, uh, of excellent pieces that were under consideration. Uh, this was the one that, that just stuck with me the, the longest, I suppose, and I just kept thinking back to it and, and sorting through my impressions of it, and that's, that's a sign of a work that should have some uh, staying power. I think that the, there's a real explosion in interest in contemporary work, and it has spread beyond the couple of opera companies that were always devoted to this. To me, this is a really wonderful time to be involved in opera because there's just so much going on. There's so much more variety of repertoire than, than there ever was 50 years ago when I started getting interested in opera. Yeah, we're finally seeing better representation of women as composers and especially uh, as composers of opera. So this is, this is just exciting to see the, the, the roster of composers creating music looking more like the real world we live in. One of the things that I really loved about Breaking the Waves was how it transformed that story into a woman's story of agency. Because I had, I had found the movie to be quite misogynistic. I thought that Royce Fabric and Missy completely turned it on its head and made it into a story of a woman who makes a choice and pursues it to the death. I was really fascinated by the uplifting and spiritual quality of it that was completely the opposite of how I felt about the movie.